be with Sharon on that. So it's not so much like she's doing like a covert ish, a covert op thing, mm-hmm. but she hates black men already. That's probably why she's dealing with a white guy because she probably thinks black guys are all dogs, black guys all cheat. She probably selected the wrong type of black dudes when she was younger. Maybe now she's gonna try a white guy. The white guy ain't really respected her, whatever the case may be. She probably dogging black people all day. He probably not liking that. I don't know what the reason is. But now she has no options. So, I mean, I kind of agree with what Sarah was saying on that note because I feel like she's causing hurt to the black family. When, it's, when she's talking, it sounds like an agenda that a certain set of people would want for black people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Taking away the black family. That's what it sounds like to me. Another person trying to take away the black family. Yeah. Because it threatened certain type of people. Of course. And That's what it sounds like. The crazy thing is that they give certain people platforms and they give, like, dangerous information. Right. Right? So you might have a whole slew of young black women that are getting educated and getting in their careers, and they're like, I people. look up to her. I look up to her. Yeah. So she, like, she's not even, she's not even saying give it a shot to try to find your person. So you could build the family with? It's like, no, just vibe. skip that. Yeah, skip Don't that. even try to Don't deal with try it, right? You, yeah. And she, yeah. like, all right, she probably is dealing wow. with what she, what she's, her trauma with the guy leaving her and going back to his family. Her father probably did the same, did the same shit to her mom's. Like, yo, left them and started a whole new family or something like that. You know, you, you never know what happened. Yeah. And it's like, all right, well, I went through this, but I'm successful. Then you should just skip all the other BS Cause I went through it, and what if she thinks she was better off like that? And, and anyway, what if she went through that, and her prognosis of going through that was like, "Yo, you know what? I was better off going through it like this, and y'all are better." What if she that, really though. believed the shit that she kicking? Just cause it worked, I don't even know if it worked for her. Yeah, cause we we would only say it worked for her because she has she's educated and she has money. Right, mm. but we don't know how her life is. Like how, how you we don't see her when she goes home. She might be home in her, in her her place, lonely as hell. Yo, yeah. remember that show, Being Mary Jane? Yes, that's what this was about. You. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. She up. She taking care of her family. Yep. And she was in her beautiful home, yeah. miserable, M- m- miserable. Yeah. Sad. Yeah, and just had dudes just coming back and yeah. forth. Run up that bad yep. fucking body count. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, if she, there's a longer version of that clip, and she said that, just if you have the means to young women, buy the sperm, and if you do meet a man, you can donate it to a friend that might be in need of that sperm, or you could sell it back to the bank. So she's almost. Treating it like an insurance policy. Wow. So, so it's a little bit more thought out than just hate, <laughs> bro. Yeah. I would, I would, I would say to black women, all right, if you can't even find a black dude, if you can't find your black sperm, before you go do what she says, I, yo, I'm, I promote black households, right? Mm-hmm. If you can't find it, go. Find somebody of another race before you start thinking about yeah. going to a sperm bank yeah. and just like, yo, mm-hmm. okay. raising a child as a single woman. Yeah, no. Okay. Like, yo, that shit is difficult, bro. Yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult. And you you gonna <laughs> make these women kamikaze themselves into a life that they didn't <laughs> they don't even know. But like, why is it difficult? Because you're outsourcing a lot of the nurturing, like a lot of the important things. Bro. A father needs to be there. A mother needs to be there. Yes. Why does a father need to be there? The same reason why a mother needs to be there. You know, it, it's it's a balance. It's a balance. A, ch- a child. Well, what needs are the balance. things that a father brings to a household? Um, maybe discipline. discipline maybe some structure. some structure. Yeah. Um, uh, work ethic. I mean, well, I don't want to say just work ethic. Work ethic on both sides, but it's just like, uh, like what I saw in my dad. My dad. Woke up at four o'clock in the morning every single day. Went went to work. I got my work ethic from my dad. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I saw my mom yeah. work two jobs too, mm. but I've I've seen. You know, my mom used to. Her grind was crazy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She worked up at she woke up at seven. She got us to school. She made breakfast. She cooked dinner before she went to work. Right. So when we came home from school, dinner was there. My yeah. dad's plate was on his table. Mm. So my dad came home at seven. My mom's at her second job at the hospital, and now we ate. And then my dad is preparing for his next day. I this is what I saw. If I'm playing devil's advocate, <laughs> you know what if, I mean? if I'm playing devil's like, advocate, yeah. if I'm playing devil's advocate, it sounds like your mom had to take care of an extra person with your dad. Yeah. Oh I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, no, I'm no. Just playing my devil's dad, advocate. Yo, I'm gonna tell you straight up. Because you, you're my, not my really. Dad, yeah. My what? dad. My dad. Right. Was just straight discipline mm-hmm. and structure. Right. My mom. Took care of the nurture, everything nur- else. Nurturing. The nur- oh my God! Yeah, nurture, school, everything. Right. Like my dad, my mom took care of the the laundry. She took care of the food. She took care of going to school, parent teacher night. She right. took care of uh, buying him clothes, going to the supermarket. Right. My dad was like, "Yo, I'm gonna take care of the home, right. so you don't have to worry about that." Okay. But you take care of them. I'll so, be here if so, but but then if my if my mom, if we got out of line, me, my sister and I, as soon as my dad came through those doors, she would say, "Honey, Jean did this, mm. Stephanie did this." Mm. Without question, yeah, we got our ass whips. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it was, it was like yo, there was no like, did it happen? Let me negotiate. It was like. Straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all ain't got no lawyers. Y'all yeah, there was no lawyers. Yeah, there was no yeah, lawyers. Yeah, let me hear, let me tell you about side. Like, right, 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 right. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. But um, so it's interesting because in raising raising our son now, my wife and I, because of what I saw, right, I try to do that, but it doesn't work that way. My wife is like, "Yo, we doing this together, together." Mm. Like, so if I put on his shirt, you put on his pants. Gotcha. If I feed him, you wash the dishes. Like, okay. if if I do this, you do that. And okay. then, so, and some how's days. How does it feel? Yeah. It feels, it feels natural? If, if, at first it didn't okay. because, you know, I'm coming from a Haitian background, coming from what I saw for 40 years or 30 years or whatever it was. Yeah. It wasn't that. Yeah. It was like, yo, man, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. But that's the new age, which you're talking about. That's yeah. how, that's yeah. how most couples new operate. Yeah. This is how it operates. Yeah. Absolutely. Which is cool because it's funny because I have a deeper relationship with my son. Right. Mm-hmm. Which I love. Yes. You know? Yeah. I have real conversations. I, like, having conversations with my dad is, like, weird. Like, I could go a month without talking. Two months, three months without speaking to my dad. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know? Yeah. But I think it would be weird for my son to grow up and not have a conversation every day with me. Mm. So if a woman, you know? if a woman grew up in your situation with that, with your dad, like your sister and, and your dad, would it be weird if your sister came with that Ebony K. Williams talking point? Like, yo, I really kind of could do this by myself. Yeah, no, really my sister need... wouldn't do that. Okay. All like, right. yeah, no, I get, I get that straight up. Yeah, yeah, I even, yeah, I'm talking yeah, for you yeah, stuff, yeah. but I don't think so. All right. All right you know what I right, mean? All like, all right. Yeah, no. Yeah. I think it's I think that shit is just perpetuating the cycle. Like these are what these like if you're going to do that, you mm-hmm. probably go in hating men and then as you as you have that baby and you start taking care of that baby day in and day out, year after year, and you'd be like, "Yo, now you didn't you didn't try to bring a man in to help you. Mm-hmm. You just you you made the choice to do it by yourself. Now you're going to continue to hate men like well, okay. like like you had a baby pops that left you or some yeah. shit like but that. But let's but not go the to the extreme of hating. Let's <laughs> just go. Let's move it in a couple of notches and be like not seeing a need for. Mm. I can raise a kid. Yo, I've been playing devil's advocate need, here yo, they, for the they sake go, of conversation. It's gonna be a time they're gonna need some help. Maybe, Maybe they can get it well, from their mother. They got their mothers and they got their sisters uh, and they got other okay. people in the, in the community. Maybe they don't want a whole nother dude in the house that. Is stuck in that structure, in that old structure that I got to take care of the babies and I got to take care of you. And I have enough money that I don't need you. All right. So, wait, wait, wait. Okay, take wait, care wait. Of the oh, let me say, let me say, okay. okay. I, I could debunk your whole shit. Please. Because the only thing is, dudes are not, 
there's no lack of dudes willing to have babies. They nah. just don't want to pay child Niggas support. So if you got a chick that's willing to pay for uh, that and she's not going to hit you for child support, there's dudes that'll go half on a baby with a woman. Mm. So what you wh- why? You could have some male presence. I can have a relationship with my kid as long as you're not trying to take me to court. And you could do everything you want to do independently. Yeah. We ain't got to have all that 